they're, they're ruining futures, you know. Uh, without Olympic wrestling, uh, people are taking away college funds. It's, they're not just taking away Olympics, they're taking funds away from colleges and uh, it's ruining people's chances of having a good life and stuff. Pretty disappointing, you know, it's real devastating to uh, the sport of wrestling, you know, it's, uh, it's it just doesn't make any sense really, you know, just. It's the greatest sport in the world, it's the first sport in the world. Um, there's nothing, nothing bad about it, it's great competition, and uh, no other sport can beat it. It'd be like taking away wrestlers' Super Bowl, wrestlers' Masters, uh, golf competition, wrestlers' uh, uh, NBA uh, finals. It's the uh, top tier uh, sports competition for wrestlers. And to take that away from them would be just a crime. A sport that seems like it's been so successful in the Olympics, uh, has met all the criteria that IOC has asked for, uh, just doesn't really make sense. It's kind of frustrating. So. Oh yeah, definitely try to save Olympics uh, 2020. Uh, that's my year. I'm hopefully trying to win it that year. So uh, save Olympics. Liam's Elijah's match, I, I didn't know I was going to wrestle him until I, I made the decision to cut down to open up a spot for Lupe. I just, I always figure like he's going to be kind of easy because he's kind of a Greco guy. I, I went in there with a mentality that this guy's going to be easy like the rest of the guys that wrestle at CCS, but uh, he, he actually really improved a lot. My goals this year is to be a, a high school state champion, and I believe I can do it. Two young gladiators. Gilroy High's Nico Villarreal and Archbishop Reardon's Elijah Davis went head-to-head -head in the 2013 CCS matchup that will go down in history as one of the most intense battles of all time. It's the first time since 1995 that the number one and the number two wrestlers in a weight class in state faced off on the mat. Nico Villarreal, a junior with a 42-2 record, is a defending state champion wrestler with two section titles under his belt to go along with multiple first place medals he earned from past and recent tournaments. Coming into the match, Nico possessed an explosive wrestling style. You know, I just work with the best guys. Uh, I just push myself. I like high scoring matches. I'm not one of those guys who are going to keep close match. <laughs> Standing in his way is senior Elijah Davis, a newcomer in the CCS, but Davis is no stranger on the wrestling mat. Elijah has a dominating past, a powerful wrestler who beats his opponent on counter moves. Davis dominated the WCAL with multiple pins and technical wins, ranked number two coming into the match. Elijah was also a cadet Greco national champion, determined to get to the top. I, I just came out there like uh, knowing that I was going to beat him. But like halfway through the match, I started doubting myself because I was like, oh man, this guy's really strong. And then like see, just remembering that he beat Paul earlier at our own tournament at mid -Cals, that was a big struggle too. Like that just started clicking in my head more. I was like, oh man, I kind of started doubting myself here and there. The first period started off with both wrestlers feeling each other out, muscling each other, trying to gain hand control, but the opening period would end scoreless. Davis would win the coin flip in the second period and chose the bottom position. It would only take a few short seconds before the senior would get out and earn himself the first point of the match with the escape. Unlike the opening period, both wrestlers chose to keep their distance from each other, engaging only when attempted a move. Back and forth in the minute and a half mark of the second period, Nico shot for an ankle pick but Davis naturally countered spinning around to get behind Villarreal. Nico's quick feet dragged both wrestlers out of bounds as Davis appeared to have a split second control of his opponent. Boos from the crowd echoed as the official directed the two opponents back to the center of the mat. 
In the third period, Nico would escape to even the score at one apiece with one minute and 38 seconds left in the match. The intensity filled the entire gym as both wrestlers battled in the closing seconds of regulation. With about one minute left, Elijah shot for a double leg. Villarreal countered with the sprawl, but Davis's strong grip turned it into a single leg grab out on the edge of the mat. Villarreal would counter by hooking Davis's arm, dragging him out of bounds for a reset. With 45 seconds left, Nico on the offensive attack caught Davis off guard with a single leg grab. Davis looked to break the move, but Villarreal turned a single to a double, but Davis was smart to carry the momentum out of bounds. Nico appeared to have both of Elijah's legs under control as his toes dragged out of the circle, and the official's initial ruling was a two-point takedown, but was quickly overturned as the second official confirmed that both wrestlers went out of bounds. seconds left, Davis went for a quick shot right out of the reset, but Villarreal countered and spun around Davis, who somersaulted out of Villarreal's grip on the verge of winning his first section title. Elijah hooked Nico's leg as the clock ticked down to seven seconds. The official signaled for a two, but Elijah failed to secure control of Nico, who countered by grabbing a hold of Davis's leg from the bottom. His time expired. The officials took away the initial points awarded to Davis. Both concurred on the side as the entire gym went crazy with mixed emotions. Reardon coaches were irate as one side of the gym started to chant Nico's name. Crusader fans started to chant for Elijah. Throughout the whole commotion, both wrestlers remained calm and composed as the officials and the coaches prepared for overtime. The battle continued with both warriors locking arms. With 40 seconds in, Davis made the first move. The crowd erupted as the Reardon senior tried to secure an arm to set up a throw. But Villarreal was savvy enough to know his position on the mat. With 20 seconds left, Villarreal made a move and secured a single leg. But time expired before he could take down his opponent. The second overtime period required one wrestler down and the other on top. Villarreal won the toss but deferred to Davis who chose to start in the down position. 30 seconds. That's how much time Davis had to break out for an escape. Through. With 15 seconds left, Davis attempted a roll to break loose, but Villarreal's vice grip was stronger than iron chains. official blew the whistle to start the sixth period, a hush fell over the crowd. Villarreal needed to score a point before time expired, or else the match would extend to sudden death overtime. Both wrestlers looked fatigued, but the focus in their eyes showed determination and unlimited will. got off the whistle quick. 25 seconds left. Villarreal looked to peel away Davis's hold. Elijah picked up Villarreal, ready to drop him to the mat, but Gilroy's gladiator countered with the roll. Davis, in desperation, made a mental error by clasping his grip on Villarreal. on his face said it all. Disbelief. Clasping penalty enforced. One point awarded to his opponent with just 8.9 seconds left in the sixth period. Davis came out aggressive right out of the whistle. Nico played defense and lured Davis out of bounds. With 4.2 seconds left, Nico Villarreal secured his third CCS title with a one-point victory over Elijah Davis. The two young gladiators would exchange words after the emotional match. Davis expressed his frustration the only way he could. I 
As Nico's arm was raised in victory, Elijah ran out of the gym to gather himself back together. I was going out there thinking I was going to dominate, uh, dominate, and um, I, it just didn't go my way. I, you know, I got to step up my game a little bit more. I got to uh, not overlook him. Nico Villarreal, the 2012 state champion, is now a three-time Central Coast section champion with the opportunity to go for another CIF state title in seven days. But it won't be easy. A rematch against Elijah Davis is likely to happen. But for now, the first chapter has been written. Nico Villarreal, the junior from the 11-time wrestling championship team of Gilroy, is the CCS champion for the third consecutive time. It was a little controversial at times, but with that, that last call there, but I thought it was a great display of, of wrestling and um, you know, I'm inspired by it going into the state meet. Uh, you know, I, I think Elijah knows that he can do something really big there. And, uh, and I really compliment Nico for his, his great wrestling abilities. He's a, he's a fantastic wrestler. You know, you won't expect anything less from the number one and two guy in the state. Uh, you're going to see fireworks, and um, that, that's why they're ranked one and two. You know, two equally athletes who know how to wrestle, and they're going to get after it, and they both uh, they both have that winning personality. So uh, it, it was exciting. Good, good, good for wrestling. Good for the crowd. I, I'm really excited about state. They, these guys work hard all year. Uh, they're all return, returning qualifiers, so uh, I'm expecting a good showing. You know, th these guys want to win. Sometimes I made you promise. Yo, you promise me you'll do this when you're in Stanford. I promise you. Yeah, God, God gave us all talent. God gave us all talent, you know. That's just some guys do this with it. <laughs> you know. It's uh that's that's what separates us, you know, that's the thing with wrestling. It's uh in, in football, you know. I played football, yeah, and that's what I did in college. I didn't wrestle in college, I played football. And it's like, that's why I talk about wrestling, that's why I love the sport, that's why I coach the sport instead of football and stuff like that, is because um, if I wanted to be a wide receiver, <laughs> I could not be a wide receiver, it just doesn't happen. You know, if I want, baseball is even harder, right? either you can hit a curveball or you can't. I mean, it's not, the uh, athleticism, it's, if you don't have those hand-eye corners, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that like, if I wanted to be a center in basketball, it just, it's not gonna happen. Wrestling's the only sport where they have, you know, weight, like I said, weight categories, and if you want to be good at wrestling, you could really make yourself a good wrestler. I mean, not everyone's going to be state champions, but if you put the time and effort in and sacrifices in, anybody could be successful in the sport. Now, I'm not saying state champion level, because, you know, those are the elite, elite, but, um, but anyone could be successful. And if you match that up with good grades, you could go to college and, and do, do good things with what through the sport of wrestling. Like you know, like Lupe, you know, like Lupe Jimenez, he's a perfect example. You know, he hasn't he hasn't even been in the state meet, but he's been he's been good. He's been you know he's been he's placed at the section twice already, and he's got great grades, and he's going to going to wrestle on the scholarship. So uh, that that's why I coach wrestling because you could help more more people. It's not limited to the great athletes. You know, uh, that's why I love the sport. You got guys like this. We all have talent, but it's up to you how how far do you want to doubt develop it and work on it and that's why that kid is where he's at and that's why he's going to Stanford and he's been a successful wrestler and he's had all the success he's had in, in the classroom in life because he's done more with his talent you know with the talent that he's got you done no. No. junior year was a, a really great year for me yeah CCS I was ranked number one again and um, I don't know I just pretty much uh, blew like uh, ran through everybody till the finals, and then I had a um, guy from Sarah Guy. I ended up beating him like 7-0 or something like that. So that was my that was my third um, consecutive CCS title. So it was it was a pretty big deal. It was really um, it was really great. Yeah, I was ranked third in state my junior year, and then uh, I, I pretty much ran through everybody till the um, semis, 
and then I had to wrestle Javier Gasca. I don't even remember, but it was, it was a good match. I ended up beating him, I think, three to one. And that was a big, that was like huge for me because I honestly thought he was gonna beat me. <laughs> the last few times, it was always really close. I ended up, but this time I ended up coming on top. And he was a senior, so like I wasn't gonna wrestle him the next year after that, so I was pretty stoked about that. And then in the finals, I had Aaron Pico, the you know the national world champion. So, so that was you know he's he's Aaron Pico. I, I felt I was feeling really good in that match, but he's just he's so dominant, he's so like aggressive, and he just yeah, he just um, <laughs> ran me over pretty much. But yeah, it was. But overall, it was a good year. CCS, I felt like we had some, we had bad blood, you know, he kept, he was just saying some bad things at uh, CCS, all I remember was saying, you know, I'll see you at, he'll say, he was saying, I'll see you at state, I'll see you at state, <laughs> and I had, a, I had a smart comeback, and I was like, I'm not hard to find, you know, because I was ranked number one at the time, and um, just after that, you know, I, I, I really approached practice a lot more harder, I came in, like, thinking, like, this guy's not going to uh, have a close match with me, like, last time, and, um, I, when I got to the state finals with him, I, all I was processing through my head was like, you know, this is mine, I deserve it, you know, I'm going to show people that I'm not going to get lucky this year, that I, put, I actually put the work in and that I deserve this title and stuff, so. to the match you know I just kept going 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 and uh, this time I didn't have any doubt at all you know even when I was it was tied and there's like a few seconds left I was like I gotta go I gotta do something you know because um, I have this like everyone knows in my wrestling room that I kind of have this lazy mentality <laughs> where I don't like going extra extra stuff that I don't have to do so I feel like overtime is just that extra period you don't need you know why go an extra period when you can actually settle the first the third period you know so um, I just I went for it and you know I got it and then, you know when it comes down to it, it was it's not luck it's you make your own luck you know. A burnt barn burner as usual, you know. He, he, he likes to entertain the, the people and um, he doesn't like to back down for anybody, you know. So I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm very happy with him right now, his performance. It, it went as planned. He um, did what we asked him to do exactly and, and it worked out for him. I put in a lot of hard work this year and uh, I put in the input. I couldn't really control the outcome and uh, I'm gonna learn and grow from it. I feel like I need to improve a lot more. Those close matches, those matches were way too close for mine. But I feel like I've been training. I trained way too hard to keep it that close. 
Nico's a tough wrestler and, you know, he's solid. So it is what it is. Oh, he's, he's, he's a really good guy. Outside the arena, when, uh, when people aren't watching us wrestling, we're, we're good friends, you know. Um, but when we step on the mat, we act like we don't know each other. We're just ready to throw blows. We fixed, the, you know, we had a couple words in sections, you know, and, uh, you know, we, been, we, 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 we settled it and treated, treated each other like men, you know, and, you know, he's a great guy, and uh, I wish him the best in his high school career. Yeah, I'm happy, you know. We're good friends now, and uh, it's, it's worked out. I'm, re I'm really happy I won it.